Make death to America great again. <laughs> Wherever you live, you need to find your own target audiences. Here I'm living in Tehran, the capital of Iran. I have nothing to talk about anything with the people. I'm not saying they are bad, bad people or good people. I have nothing in common with them. Uh, I was talking about uh, with the same subject with the AI ChatGPT, and uh, he says you need to find the group, the support group. You need to find your own, you know, the niche group. Some people who have compassion or about the subject you're talking about. But there is no one here. The society is just divided to the mostly two groups. And they are thinking so, you know, dark and bleak and uh, they are stuck in their own black and white narrative, which I'm not going to support that is stupid. And uh, society has just been divided within. And just take a look around, you see people are doing business, but you don't know who you're doing business with. I mean, your core worker could be someone who's just extremely supporter of the government and at, at the same time you could be someone uh, who hates the government the most and uh, you could i mean it is really crazy of course the society all over the world is just tolerating each other but here is just crazy because at the same time people are so black and white they have so much hate against each other's beliefs at the same time, they have to do business with each other. They have to go to the work. Maybe that's the same department, the same office, same. Maybe they're just co-workers very close to each other at the same store or shop or whatever. Or maybe they're just family members. I mean, they're living together and their, you know, ideology and their vision is so divided. They can tolerate each other, but they have to live with that. And there is no other choice. Because as I said before, you need the target audience, the support group. Uh, because when you go to the hospital or whatever, you need someone who just carry your own body. <laughs> when you're sick, when you need support, when you need money, when you need whatever. And since living here, it just doesn't give you that support group you have to suck it up and as i said i was talking with the chat gpt as i said uh, give me another option give me another option and at this at the end of the discussion he said just suck it up not in that words but his his word was like that same meaning it has that same meanings and you have to suck it up and uh, there is no other choice and don't complain and you could just keep your own ideology your beliefs or whatever but you need to live at the same time you have to earn money you have to earn living you have to do you know you have to go to the doctor see the doctor that doctor could be some jackass you don't like his own vision or beliefs or whatever but you have to do that at the same time as you can see I'm driving with the same people I mean you don't know who's the driver at that car or other car. They are, look the same. <laughs> it's really communist country, so people are driving the, almost the same car every corner. But someone who could be like, you know, could be a rapist. Who knows? Or at this, at another car driver could be like the judge who would put that rapist in the, you know, under the hanging. Uh, rope anyway so you don't know who's the driver of this car or that car or whatever but as you you have to merge with them you have to just bond with them you have to just suck it up and uh, drive the same road uh, you know tra tolerate the same traffic and uh, don't complain this happens at any society, at any community. But here is, as I said before, because the people are living in their own bubbles and see the world in the black and white, it is extremely bizarre. I mean, you don't know. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Let me just put it that this way. It doesn't make 
any sense. I mean, uh, the person who hates your guts, who wants to kill you, I mean, <laughs> literally, <laughs> they say <laughs> like that to you, that to your ideology, that to your people who are same with you, but at the same time, they're, do they're doing their own business every day because they have to. It is crazy, man. It is unbelievably, unbelievably crazy. I mean, uh, <laughs> it is nonsense. I mean, if you go to the Iranian supermarket or, you know, some places which runs with the government's resources, I don't know, maybe the hospital, uh, the government-run hospitals. Let's just put it that way. Or university. There are some signs that says we don't, uh, you know, we don't serve... We don't serve the woman who don't have a hijab, who don't have a full hijab or whatever, or don't have a hijab at all. There are some signs about it, and uh, no one actually follow that signs, but it is there because in Iran uh, there is uh, some slogan, some uh, you know the phrase is called tarof, which is kind of a passive aggressiveness of uh, uh, dealing with other people. So. In the passive aggressiveness, they're just saying, you know, we don't support you. We're not serving you. But at the same time, they actually do. I mean, they're not going to uh, face the dance and they're not going to, you know, fight with each other over that because the life is already hellish, kind of, is in here. So uh, people don't want to go to the hustle and uh, just... Uh, you know, argue with each other. And this is not America. No one actually cares about the, uh, what exactly people are saying. I mean, if Americans say, I believe this, I'm actually really, uh, <laughs> sometimes I get shocked with how crazy Americans are uh, standing on their own grounds and just supporting some causes, anything. Could be a Palestinian, could be Israel, or could be anything. I don't, I don't say what causes, but they're just a standy and they are really serious about it. But here, especially in Middle East, in general, people don't give a shit that much. I mean, they're just saying death to Americans or death to America, but no one actually wish that way. Even if you come here, if you're American and just with your own t-shirt, <laughs> which is made out of American flag and just wave around and, you know, do the partying on the street. <laughs> no one gives a shit. Not only that, they even maybe like you. I mean, they have uh, been living in their own bubbles of, I mean, as you can see all around this street, there is no other people except the Iranian. So maybe some very few people Afghans, but there is no way you could see some like foreigners uh, except the Iranians so since they are living in this bubbles of the Iranians seeing each other every day every corner it is gonna be like a very weird <laughs> sense of the uh, I don't know adventure for them if they see you as Americans so as I say I'm, I'm, I'm just saying it's not serious when they say that to Americans or that to America whatever no one actually saying that. No one actually saying like uh, Israel is supposed to be a wipe out of the map of the earth. They're not saying that. I mean, they are saying that, but there is not going to be that way. It's just something, it's passive aggressiveness of the Middle East and they're just saying. Not just Iranian, just in Middle East and people are just passive aggressive, saying shit. And they're not standing on their own... Uh, over their own words and they're not supporting their own words that seriousness maybe some people very few people who get uh, you know uh, fanatic and like being like in ISIS or some terrorist groups or whatever but even those people are corrupt as well you're, you're not gonna find it something like actual fundamental people I mean can you imagine there is some people who are actually uh, living in like Amish people in Middle East. They're not gonna, there is not gonna be like that. And uh, those like uh, mites about 
Taliban and uh, they're not uh, listening to music, they are banning something like this, banning something like that. It's just something might. And it's not gonna be actual life of the Afghan people. I'm not saying they are in heaven, I'm saying it's not that extreme as they're just claiming it. So, all of the saying this shit here, there, I'm telling you, it's just about to tell you life here, you need group support. And what you need, I mean, what just come with that is to tolerate the negative thoughts, negative people, negative, I mean, based on your own ideology, based on your own vision or whatever, you have to tolerate those people. And it is ridiculous, I mean, doing business with people who actually hate, it doesn't make any sense. And when you get into my position, which I hate everyone, which I'm not, like, I'm not supporting the lefties, I'm not supporting the righties, I'm not supporting the, uh, any religion, I'm not supporting uh, any fucking piece of shit. What a great job, what a fucking great job. Look at this bus driver. It's a mental, it's a madness. What the fuck he thinks he's doing? Fucking retarded dumb fuck. So, as you can see, I hate people in general. And it doesn't matter if they are women, men, young, old. I don't, I don't give a shit. And uh, I can't find a support group in Iran. And one of the fact I'm not uh, vlogging in Farsi because I hate people in general. Not because they are Iranian or something like that. It's mostly because uh, I hate Middle Eastern people. I hate corrupt people. I hate people who are backstabbing each other, taking advantage of the, each other. I hate them. Look at this. I hate selfish people. I hate people uh, like that bus driver you see. But here you have to tolerate it. When you're on the street, when you're living with the people, you have to do that. There is other choice. You just have to move on and get your own shit together and go somewhere else and live there. Look at this old woman driving this car. Anyway, yes, if you don't like it, leave it. But that is just gonna be like a Western, in, that only means for the Western countries when they have their own passport and visa ready for anywhere on the earth. But when you're born here, when you live here, when you have Iranian passport and uh, your visa is not ready for any shit and you don't belong to any place. This is a, <laughs> this is academy teaching English language. This is bizarre. I haven't seen anyone speak English. I mean, you, you're gonna see it. I mean, people don't understand my videos anyway. So, yeah, all I'm trying to tell you, I have no uh, support group, I have no Nietzsche group, so I, can't, I could possibly make video with them and about them, with them, something here, there, whatever. Uh, this is gonna be hard and it's getting harder and harder every day since I see uh, the country is just really weird and uh, when I say weird because as I said before if you're saying something you have to stand on your own ground and when you do when you don't do that so it only means you're cropped you're full of shit in a <laughs> very ordinary word you're full of shit so when you say I hate mullahs, but you're doing business with the mullahs and you love their own monies or whatever, so you're all full of shit. At the same time, when you say that to America or whatever, but using American uh, softwares, American you know, products, and uh, bypassing and uh, disregarding the Islamic uh, laws or government laws, so you're full of shit as well. So. 
if you're not full of shit, you can't live with the people who are literally full of shit. <laughs> and uh, it is hard. It is getting harder and harder. I mean, uh, let me just uh, put th this as a final e example. So, uh, having a uh, helmet on motorcycle is mandatory by the law in Iran. And uh, the police actually could pull you over and take your bike away. This is a really serious crime. But as you can see, this, is, this guy is the only person I've seen in, the, in this entire vlog that actually have helmet on. And so when I say full of shit, this is it, full of shit. And when you see the police bikers, they're doing the same thing. They're not wearing the helmet. So this is a country which people acting and saying things are not, uh, you know, work together. Did you see that? Those girls didn't have hijab or just walking around like it's just, you know, someplace in New York or whatever. So, this country is full of shit. And Middle Eastern countries are full of shit. And that is really the hardest part of the surviving in this community. Because you don't know what law you should follow. I mean, when you're someplace, you don't know, you would know, you would love to know which way is the right way. But when you see everyone is just doing some random shit, everywhere is going, and the life doesn't make any meaning, it's, it's become completely meaningless. It's become completely full of shit. And it would just burn you down, it just burn you down. And if you're just some, some people who are just trying to do, you know, the right thing, you're fucked up in these countries, in these types of lands, which people are just, you know, they say something and they're believing something else. And it's not going to be easy to survive. It's not going to be easy to just, you know, look at this. Lots of these bikers, I mean, look at that. None of them have helmet or whatever it is shit. And as you can see, how the traffic is just working here, there. Everyone is just pushing their own car or vehicle or whatever. Whoever can is going the fastest. Doesn't matter where you're coming from or where you're going and uh, your priorities. As long as you could push it, you're gonna push it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace out. Thank you.